Alright guys, this is a uh, custom firmware update. Um, this is a uh, kind of rare custom firmware, but um, it's uh, pretty useful. It's uh, called uh, 5.50 MHU custom firmware. Um, there's only one version of it, just to let you know. Um, but I'm going to have a link for you for the downloads and everything. There's going to be two things you're going to download. One of the things is going to be the uh, official firmware set for 5.50 MHU custom firmware update. And the other file is going to be the eBoot for um, installing the um, custom firmware files for MHU. And uh, we're going to combine these in a folder known as the update folder, obviously. And we are going to update 5.50 MHU custom firmware. So without further ado, let's uh, get this over and done with. All right. So the first things first, um, check your firmware. We got We have to be on 5.00 M33-6. This is a uh, PSP 1000 model, as you can see. Um, clarifying that it is a PSP 1000, you can see the UMD opens up like that not just by flicking it open um, but uh, other than that just take a uh, USB cable and connect it to the PSP and go into USB mode and then simply come to the computer alright so two files I'm gonna have you download right here here's one of them right here it's uh, called custom firmware 5.50 MHU.RAR and the other one is going to be called the PSP firmware 5.50 0.50 ZIP. You're going to simply, um, well, first off, let's go to my computer and get the PSP memory stick up. Uh, come on. All right, there we go. And uh, open up the removable disk for the PSP and open up the PSP folder and then open up the game folder. Uh, oh, I can delete that. Don't need that. Come on. Alright, anyways, back to the PSP game folder. Um, go to the files that you have downloaded and double click and open up the custom firmware 5.50 MHURAR file first. Um, it doesn't matter what order you do this in, but I'm just going to make it simple for you guys. Um, so wait for that to open up. And close. And inside the extracted files, after extracting, if you don't have an extraction program, just right click on these files that you download and say extract all to wherever you want to. And inside the custom firmware 5.50 MHU RAR, you will see the custom firmware 5.50 MHU folder. Open up that folder and you are going to see a PSP folder. Open up the PSP folder, you should see the game folder. And open up the game folder, you will see the update folder. And inside the update folder, you will see the eboot.pbp and the sce.pbp here file. Now, just ignore that second file and focus on the eboot. What you're going to do is go back and see the update folder, come to your PSP game memory stick, and drag and drop the update folder into the PSP memory stick. Like so. And then open up that update folder inside the PSP game memory stick. Now what you're going to do is simply uh, exit this extracted file and open up the PSP firmware 5.50.zip. Uh, again, if you don't have an extraction program, just right click and extract to wherever, and you will see an sce.pbp. Um, simply all you're going to do is go to your PSP game slash update folder where you have the MHU eboot and the sce.pbp here, and just simply drag and drop the sce.pbp into the PSP game memory stick. Oh boy, so far so good. Wait for those files to extract, or just simply you won't have an extraction process at all because they would be already extracted. And now wait for the SCE.pvp to copy over to your PSP game memories, um, uh, to the update folder in the PSP game memory stick root. So, yeah, just wait for that to finish. Uh, okay, so now that that's done, we're going to clarify that we have the PSP game slash update folder open, and inside there you will see the eboot.pvp. 
you will see a sce.pvp which is providing the download and that random file that's sce.pvp here um you don't need you could delete that if you want but you don't need to so then just simply exit the psp memory stick exit that get this out the way and come back to the psp all right so back at the psp we're going to exit usb mode like so and i'll just unplug this usb cable to get it out the way and scroll over to the game memory stick and you should see the PSP update version 5.50. You're gonna start that up. <clears throat> now it looks like a regular update, but don't worry, it's the MHU. So basically all we're gonna do is see this go into play. And there you go, 5.50 MHU installer software reversed and coded by X Eno Gears and because 25. Press X to start the update or R to exit. So obviously we're gonna hit X. Starting the SCE updater. Wait. Dot dot dot. Hooray. <clears throat> Alright, anyways. Wait for it. Wait for it. And voila. PSP system software version 5.50. You're gonna hit start. <sighs> hit right on the directional pad, accept, uh, X, X, and now you're just gonna simply wait for that to install. Boom. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna hit the X button to restart. <sighs> And wait for it again. The system will reboot. And if we come over here and you'll see that you have an MHU VSH menu. But screw that for now. Scroll down to your system settings, go down to system information and check your firmware. And you will see 5.50 MHU and that's it and it automatically black blocks the MAC address so that's cool too so that's how you install 5.50 MHU alright guys so I will have both these links for download you will need both the files you will need to be on custom firmware 5.00 M33 or lower um, but not too low don't go lower than uh, 3.90 or else uh, you might brick it um, because this is you know the older firmwares and it all sucks ass so yeah, but other than that, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy this firmware. Um, and, uh, yeah, feel free to delete this from the memory stick when you're done. Um, but uh, other than that, that's about it. So, uh, yeah, you got any questions, leave me a comment, send me a message. If you have any recommendations for any other videos you would like to see, just post a comment on my channel page, and I will get back on that as soon as I can. And also, um, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date. So yeah, other than that, take it easy guys. I'll see you later, and enjoy your custom firmware.